Hey everybody, Manuel Delgado here at Delgado Guitars. So I'm gonna go really quick just because some people just want the information fast. So today we're doing a fret marker placement using tape on a double bass. This is actually a quarter size double bass. I just have it propped up so I'm not having to squat way down. Um, but it's really simple. You want to use a tuner. In this case, I have the tuner clipped right on the bridge. Um, you want to make sure that your bass is tuned. Uh, e, A, D, G. So E, A, D, G. Make sure your bridge, everything is in the right placement. Take your time to make sure that it's in tune in the open position. Um, and then for this one, everybody has different placement uh, points where they put it. But for most students, they usually will only require four, uh, three, four, five markers. On this particular one, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we're gonna do, uh, the, on the G string, this one down here, we're gonna do the A, the A sharp, the B, the C, the C sharp, and the D, okay? And it's super easy, I got my tuner on, open note, G, and then we're gonna try to find, in this case, I already did the first marker, there's the A, okay? And what I did in preparation of this is I went and I found where the note was and then I grabbed a pencil and I marked right in the middle of my finger where that note is. So I just have little pencil marks down here to show where all of those are. And then, again, I'm just going fast to show you. So come around over here so I can come around this way. Now I'm gonna get some tape here, and to make it easy, see, I'm gonna pull it up towards the string so I don't have to worry about it touching the fingerboard. All right, and there's one of my markers there. I can make sure that it's not crooked because I'm standing right in front of it. And I'm gonna lay it right on that tape marker, right there. And if you wanna wrap it all the way around, you can. Some people cut them uh, short here. I find like sometimes just wrapping it around so the kids don't want to pick at it when it's over there, that might help. So, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. So I just wanted to show you, I'm going to do the rest of these, but that's all it is. So again, uh, just to recap, use the, on the G on the bottom string, you're going to find the A, the A sharp, the B, the C, the C sharp, and the D. Okay. All right.